Hey, good morning. It's 5.15. Uh, just woken up. We've uh, about one and a half hours, a little less than one and a half hours before we start. So, we're getting breakfast now first. Ready, Luke? Yes. Kom aardig warm, zo jongen. Ik heb het ruid in de honden aan. Nou, start over 4 minuten. Ah, mooi op tijd toch? Zo, Mar Martijn en Brian also showed up. Late uh, last night. Hallo? Hallo, hallo? Hey! Morning, in één keer! Martijn, join the chat! Nog twee minuten. This is your two minute call. <laughs> Zijn we daar nog tussendoor of niet? Moet ik eens even kijken? Ik kan wel zo. Ja. Goedemorgen. Ga maar gaan zoeken. Waar is de laatste? Ja. Top. Ja. Hier zo even op de foto nog voor, die, voor dat ding. Wat <laughs> is ja! Yeah. You! Hey. Kom eens, rij maar! Ik ga wel achteraan! Rij je cargo doet het toch niet? Fuck, van de... Ja, maar Pike heeft hem aanstaan. Ik heb Brian die doet iets... Uh, in. Hey. Ah, we moeten zo toch tanken! Ja, we moeten hier een beetje tanken. Snel toch? Ja. Even in het volgende tankstation kunnen we het fixen. En we're off! We actually started on time, which uh, is, is, is some sort of an achievement for us. I didn't sleep that well last night. I think the only one who slept well was, uh, was Brian. But yeah, we survived, uh, so, so to say. Now uh, let the adventure begin. Anything you want to say, guys? Yeah, we're on one promenade. <laughs> <laughs> it is on half the night of half a Het is echt een heel mooi stukje weg, ja. We hebben een about an hour on the road. Het is very windy. Er is een little bit of. Uh, let me clean up the lens a little bit. Er is een bit of drizzle. But temperature-wise, it's quite uh, quite nice. It's very very windy. Um, in terms of kilometers, we did about 90 kilometers, which is pretty good for an hour. There's not a lot of traffic. Actually, there's no traffic at all. I think we've been stuck behind the car uh, only once. Making good progress. Links of the rotonda. Heel veel zand buiten de kant. 
you see quite a few uh, other riders as well so the guy in front is also riding he passed us about uh, 10 minutes ago <laughs> So I've been relieved of the navigation duties for the time being. Brian is now uh, leading the pack. Oh, these are nice roads. Ooh, nice view. Op zijn donder geven, hè? Really cool bridge. But somebody also had too much spare time to come up with this ID. So, uh, as we uh, expected, there is a bit of rain. You can probably see it on the camera or on, my, from the, on the lens. We've done about 140, 145 kilometers. So, well, our first tank stop will come up in a, in a few kilometers. Space is pretty decent. I think we're currently riding with a group of about uh, 15, 15 guys, more or less. The rain is a bit of a bummer, but the first two hours were dry, so that was really nice. So, first fuel stop. So, zijn we er klaar voor? Ja. Nou, let's go dan. Ja, maar voor Martijn. Ja. And apparently we now have arrived in Belgium. We've done 200 kilometers Luke. So we're 115. Been riding for about three and a half hours. And the next fuel stop will actually be quite good because the fuel is a lot cheaper in Belgium. Tank stop, we fueled up, had a coffee, actually nice coffee, thanks for time. And now we are going to hit the road again, we should have a bit of uh, drizzle for the next half an hour. And then hopefully it's dry, would be nice. Ga jij een stuk voorop uh, Brian of? Ja, ik heb hier nog aan, dit is veel. There's a bit of a traffic jam. Because we're at the spa circuit and apparently there's some kind of an event uh, this weekend. Yeah, this is toch niet links af. Maar dat mag niet links? Ja, maar dat mag niet. Voor mij moeten we zo gewoon eens kijken of we om kunnen rijden, want uh, ik denk dat we zo nog een uur rondjes rijden hier. We gaan nu weer terug wat, naar het stuk wat we net al gereden hebben volgens mij. Never guess what happened. Actually dry uh, for the time being. But still. Dry. We had a big detour around Spa because there was some kind of event. But we arrived at, in Hilly Country. It's 
built mountain, mountain country because uh, I think the highest we get up today is 550 meters. We're gonna have some fun. Hopefully the roads dry up a little bit. But the views are really, really nice. I mean, imagine if that's your view opening your, your window. It doesn't get much better than that. actually a bit of dry road. I don't know what happened. They put an umbrella above this piece of road. Of course, it didn't take that long before we hit the village, but you know, still a little bit of dry road. We're almost eight hours in. Look, what is the mileage or how much kilometers did we do? Uh, well, we're uh, exactly eight hours in. We'll be exactly at uh, 400 k. An average of 50k an hour. Wow. I think we do pretty fast. Well, it's not too shabby. I'm quite, uh, quite surprised because um, my gut feel told me that the average pace wasn't that high over the past uh, two, three hours. Okay, we dropped uh, quite a, f a few kilometers uh, in on the average, so. But at least I think the last uh, the last hour we maintained uh, pretty decent pace. We have 170 kilometers left uh, till the first checkpoint. So let's guess how many hours? Three hours? Three and a half hours? Any better bits for the check for the first checkpoint? 170 kilometers? I'll leave it at three hours. Right. You're positive. Steep bit of road. It's fantastic if it's dry, but uh, the view is, you know, view, the view compensates. Uh, to the right, that brown phone got too wet to uh, charge while it's in the holder, so that needs to dry out a bit. Or oh, Brian. <laughs> Whoops. Oplopen, hè? Ja, ja. Ik kan wel één ding tegelijk, hè? Zo, so, I'm back, back to navigation. I think we'll leave or we keep uh, Luke's two hours of nav navigation for uh, for the night or at least for the evening. When you get tired. <laughs> when everybody gets tired a bit. But there's quite a lot of uh, of detours today. En dan gewoon die pelletten komen er zo lang. Ja. Ja, het is wel goed. Ik heb tijd. Even die hoek op pakken. Ga je? Achter de ring zetten. Nou, die pelletten even aan de kant en dan kunnen we er zo langs. Beetje van stenen ging, maar. Oh kut, die gaat lopen op wat te denken. Hij is een beetje naar beneden hè? Ja. Zo, so, at least there won't be any oncoming traffic here. I have no clue what uh, what's going on uh, in Belgium, but I think part of the uh, we had issues at Spa. Picked up the route after Spa uh, with a bit of, after we did a bit of highway for run into uh, roadworks. Then we run into a closed course for a cycling loop or whatever cycling match. 
Well, after we navigated that one, we ended up at a, at a roadworks again. So I think we uh, made a detour, which actually cut off five or six kilometers of the route. Uh, but for sure it was not quicker than the original route. So proper hairpins. Just had a quick stop for a snack and a drink, and uh, it's really when you when you're stopped, everything gets so soaked in in like no time. I mean, I can hardly see my navigation at the moment. So less talking, more focusing on the corners. Zijn we er klaar voor? Ja, ik denk wel. Pitstop nummer 3. Quick coffee. The coffee was actually pretty nice. Review world, so we should be good for another 160 ish kilometer. We're about 450 kilometers in. I'm on 472. 472, so 30 more kilometers and then we have a highlight. <laughs> now we're halfway. Then we're at, uh, probably around uh, 11 hours, so I think we'll have uh, 22 to 23 hours of total riding time today. Uh, you're not gonna believe what happened. There's a bit of a blue sky up there. Spirits are high again. It's gonna be uh, easy peasy to finish it. Right? <laughs> also links up. I don't really like to see the dark clouds in, the, in front of us, but not gonna change much. We zijn er bijna. So, almost, almost at the first checkpoint. Oh, hier zo. Nou, op een uh, paar minuten na te halen, een uur over en aan. Tot hier zo? Ja. Even kijken. Ik ga het tegen te keren. Ja, scheid. We hebben er nou toch al zo'n tyfus zooi van gemaakt. 